So today's look is an inspired Cinderella look. Um, the 2015 release of Disney's Cinderella is now out in theaters, so I kind of had the inspiration to go blue. Uh, I went a little bit edgier. This is not a look that you're going to find in the actual movie. They went really natural with Lily James, uh, her makeup in it. So this is just something that I decided to go a little bit wild with. Being a fairy tale character, you can kind of expand on all sorts of creativity. So I went with blues. It's almost like an ombre effect, I guess. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial. And if you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. First, we're going to be taking Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I have it in color adjusting. And you're just going to apply this all over the face to give a smooth finish. Taking a concealer, I'm using It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It's a full coverage waterproof concealer that I received in my Ipsy bag. I'm just taking that and applying it in a triangle shape and slowly and gently patting it out with my ring finger to blend it in. I find using a brush on this coverage doesn't really work well. You need the finger to heat it up with your body heat. For foundation, I'm using L'Oreal's uh, Lumi. I have it in shade W12. For the application, I'm using my Sonia Kashuk foundation brush. I found this brush at Target. Unfortunately, they are closing all the Targets in Canada now, so that's really sad. But I find this gives a nice flawless coverage. Using a beauty blender. I'm going to be using this just to go over my foundation and pick up any excess as well to blend it all smoothly in. I don't know what I would do without a beauty blender. I really like them now that I started using them. For my eyebrows, I use Dip Brow by Anesthesia in Blonde. I'm using Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus on a Lancome angled brush. Taking the star of this tutorial, I am using Midnight Rush by Lancome Color Design 5 palette. I'm going to be using this in the crease, kind of creating like a cut crease effect, slightly winging it on the end. So you're going to start, I started in the middle, and then you work your way inwards, and lift it slightly above the crease. So you're just going to keep building that royal navy blue color just to make it a thicker line. Just keep working it in and blending it out as you go. Taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk 604, you're going to take the pencil and lightly dab it across the entire lid underneath the navy blue crease. And taking a flat eyeshadow brush, you're going to be going over top of the white crown pencil, blending it out so it's smooth. Taking the gray shade from the Lancome Color Design palette, it's called Clock Strikes 12. With an angled eyeshadow brush, you're going to be taking that color and doing the outer corner of the eye, connecting it to the end of the crease, blending it all the way up. Using Lancome's color Glamorize, it looks like Cinderella's color of dress. Using the dense brush that I got from my Urban Decay Naked palette, I'm gently patting this into the second quarter of the lid. Then 
The next color from the Midnight Rush palette is the Sparkly Metallic Silver. You're going to apply that to the inner part of the lid, right into the inner corner, and blending it with Lancome's Glamorize eyeshadow. This is going to act as a highlighter to pull all the other colors together. Using my Bobbi Brown blending brush, I'm going to be going above the crease there and under the sides just to make sure that I've extra blended it so it's not as a sharp line. Using the Clock Strikes 12 by Lancome, I'm just darkening up the outer corners there just to give it some more definition. Taking Lancome Eyeliner in Black Ebony, we're just going to line the upper lash line to create definition. Taking Lee Swatch A Eyeshine in Aqua 70677, we're going to line the waterline with this color. Even though it's a broken eyeliner, I will hold it weirdly just to use it because it's so pretty. Using Stila's Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in Periwinkle. We're going to be lining the lower lash line underneath the liner that we've already put there from Lanco. This is such a pretty blue color. It's just, uh, Periwinkle is a beautiful color. Next, take a smudge brush, mine's from Sephora, and just smudge out that eyeliner, blending it upwards. Taking Benefit's Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow in Blue My Mind, we're going to be applying that with that smudge brush in the in inner tear duct just to highlight the inner corners. Using MAC Pigment in Mutiny, we're going to be applying that with the same smudge brush over top of the creaseless shadow. This is just going to add extra pop and it's going to show up a lot more pigmented blue. Taking Dior's Lash Plumping Serum, this is honestly like a magic wand for your lashes. It plumps them right up and it primes them, but it makes it so your mascara goes on, but it makes your lashes look longer. And it makes your mascara stay on longer as well. For mascara, I'm using Clinique's Lash Doubling Mascara. For contouring, I use the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette with Medium. As a highlighter, I use Benefit's High Beam Liquid Highlighter. I just applied this on the high points of my face, being my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, and my cupid's bow, blending it out with my ring finger. I use the shade Dainty from MAC Mineralized Blush. 
just applying that on the apples of my cheeks. I use Jennifer Lopez's Nude from the L'Oreal collection on my lips. Since my eyes already have a lot of color on them, I wanted something that was more natural and nude on the lips to not take away from the eye color. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. I hope that you liked this tutorial and it gave you a little bit of inspiration um, to create a look like this. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions, feedback, or anything. As well, if you could hit the subscribe button up top there and the like button down at the bottom, that would really help me out. And yeah, I will hopefully see you in my next video. But until then, ciao!